But no. Denise went kind of added, but like separately re-added everything today and didn't find a change. Um, I did an Excel. Like I, right. Yeah. I did an Excel. I, I re-entered the entire, I re-entered the 19, the default, and the approved 18, and they all match the, the one that came, the one that was sent out. I'll send you this question. Well, so what? What? So, well, because I took every single column. As I did, it's right here. And, it, and they all tie to our budget. And all the columns tie. So, did you use Excel? I did, it's right here. Yeah, Excel. Can I cross check for those guys? Sure. Okay. Oh, that wasn't included in the Warren article. And how are you calculating the default? Were you taking 19 or 18? Um, I basically just imported that into Excel and then I <coughs> tallied um, each department and then I summed each department's bottom line. I know, but when you were determining the de default budget, mm -hmm. what year were you using to determine it? Oh, 19. That no, it's 18. That, that 19 home. It's 18. Yeah. It's 18's column. It's, it's last column. year's last year's budget. Yeah. Oh, plus that's 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 well, there's that there's two columns. It's 18, and then there's 19. That's why I have 18 and 19 on mine as well. Okay, so, but it's based on the calculation for last year's budget mm -hmm. plus contractual. And I I didn't know this. Caroline had told me this one tonight. Was, um, date time purchases, which I didn't take that out of mine because I didn't know about that. So you bought a lawnmower and you don't need a lawnmower anymore to buy, that comes out. What was the other data? Yeah. Um, and minus any employee Four. vacancies that are to be eliminated rather than division. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I still don't figure out how to get the two by I hope mine are done. How much of a meeting is that? No. Yes. Yes. That's the one that was sent out. Yes, somebody pulled one aside for one. I I care one. You took um, Michelle's, right? I have I have the six. If somebody needs another copy, yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. That who needs a? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I didn't know. We just need to save one for Michelle. Oh, that's all. Here. They're going to be different for Michelle. Um, like for, for Saturday, they're going to be different anyway because um, depending on what happens tonight, we're going to add a column for how the budget committee budget may be different from the proposed budget. So, you know, for sure, but I can print another copy for Michelle, but it, it may be different anyway. Will you send whatever revisions we make tonight electronically again? Yes. Thank you. So this budget doesn't match. 
This budget is where I, this does well, match. Well, how come it doesn't match then? How come this has 15896 and this has 15864 Are you sure this is the one that I sent? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah this is from the mail. You said is that the last one? Is that the bottom line? Yeah. You were looking at you were looking at eighteen. This is nineteen. It says the columns is two thousand nineteen default budget. One five eight nine six. One five eight nine six. Okay. So on my okay, report. Mm -hmm. right, so you have the columns swapped. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, okay. Can you pass that? Yes. I don't have any. I okay. didn't do it in the in the sequence of this. You got to look at the titles. Right. You got to look at the titles. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. It's uh, oh, okay. 6.30, okay. I think we'll call the meeting to order. Sure. Uh, so we're going to put the camera on and we've been doing video this entire time. Oh, yeah, is the camera on? If I it guess was, I better. Appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I want to do this. Michelle is excused and Jody should be here. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if she said something on Saturday about not being able to make it. She, she, no, she told that. She wasn't there Saturday. That's right. She wasn't yeah. there Saturday. But she told me a couple of days ago that she was going to be here. Okay. I didn't care for her since. Alright, no problem. Uh, uh, the first thing I'd like to go over is just any, any comments or, or questions or edits for the notes from the, for the school board hearing on the one first. Does anybody have any? Okay. Okay. Uh, Move to accept it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Great. And same with the uh, following budget committee. I have to abstain because I wasn't at the meeting. Okay, that's right. Uh, so let me. Anything note taking difficult, Frank? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Don't want to find jobs. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got a question. On the default budget, how did you no, come he's up? A, he's still on We're the minutes, honey. <laughs> he's Sorry, my idea. Because I don't have. <laughs> I got all kinds of that. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions or comments on the actual notes for the budget committee meeting afterwards? Motion to accept. Yes, All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Just strength. Saints. Okay. Um, so I guess that leaves us. Uh, Opening up discussion on the town operating budget. Um, so does anybody have any questions or comments to discuss on that? And let's, as we did before, move through it sequentially and get through the developments um, so that uh, we can keep track of it. Yeah, how did you look at the default numbers? How do the default numbers come out? Yeah. All right, there's a formula. I'm going to ask Caroline to tell you exactly what that is because no. I missed one piece of it. So It's, it's last year's budget. No, I'm not worried about that. Well, do no. you have a, like a specific line question? Well, I took your proposed budget. <coughs> Which year? 2019. 18. And subtracted 8. And then he made the difference, right, from the 18? Oh, I see what you're saying. It's based on the... The year oh, I understand now. Okay. The that default would be on eighteen nine nine. Correct. Bingo. So now we you guys sorry, just in the Thank you. 
Chiefs radio. Oh. I, I like, thought that was you. Me too. I was going to have to that noise. Nice <laughs> <laughs> She's watching YouTube videos. That's great. So, shall we go through um, the first page? Um, sure. Executive Office, any specific questions or comments? Suggestions? I think my my question is on the payroll taxes. Is that because there was a mistake in 18, and that's why it's different in the default for 19? Correct. Well, it was because talking? of the error that happened. Well, oh, I'm sorry. That's on six. Thank you. Line six. So there was an error in past year. No, last year. Remember, they, they had an error with the. Um, Highway and crime, and, and they would hold them because they classify them as the police, and they're not. So yes, we had to properly fund it this year. Social Security would be withheld. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 On the payroll taxes for elections, you one. actually, on the default budget on line 30, you actually have payroll taxes in the default one less than what 18 was. You don't have as many elections, so the election statement's going down. Because it's the actually you have it listed as the same amount as the proposed as the uh, default. And by the way, um, does anybody object to having Caroline recognized? Um, I got a problem. We have a vote on that, though. You want to vote on it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so Just a formality. Just a formality. Sure. Sorry, but I will make a motion to allow Caroline Cameron, a Liberty Town Administrator, to answer questions when needed. I'll second. Uh, on in discussion? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That's one. I make and a motion that if we have any questions, that Bob Duchamp could speak. And a second? Second. Second from Nancy. And uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay. Who, who made the motion on this one? Sir right. Charlie. Charlie did, and I seconded. Okay, are we uh, done with the elections? Well, she has a she had a question Sorry. about the payroll taxes because we have it as nineteen appropriation is the default. Correct. Which is less than. Is it because it's less than eighteens? Line, do you know? So. It's also the ballot clerk's wages. So it's an approximation because not everybody takes that. Um, so you're right, it's the same. I, I can't check the formula offhand. I mean, I, I can take a minute and calculate. But it's, um, it's the town clerk's salary, the stipend, and the ballot clerk's um, wages. So um, it, it's, it's very close. It might be off by 20 or $30, but it's, you know, it's an approximation. But I can take a minute and add it. Is that for the moderator and supervisors as well? No, they're in executive. So they're different. Are we okay moving on? Administration. Any uh, comments, questions? No? Yep. Yeah. Sure. 
evaluation, okay? Personnel administration. Planning and zoning. Sewer and water based on um, their presentation. So we went to 40%. on the actual salaries that people are earning in that line as opposed to what last year's budget amount was. People are not earning what will fully expend that budget line this year. Last year, 18. Okay, so I have an increase of $5,089 for a total on that line of 259537. Could you give me that again, please? An increase of five thousand eighty-nine dollars for a total of two fifty-nine five thirty-seven. So uh, the question um, I came up so two percent of two forty-six one thirty-one came up to four nine two two point six two. That's 17. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're right. Yeah. I take that back. We're tracking. Um, may I make a comment for informational purposes? Um, just that if um, that salaries, there will be associated um, payroll taxes and gets higher, mm -hmm. assuming that that's expended. Mm -hmm. question? I just want to make sure I'm understanding. The 1.3 increase from last year to this year does reflect a 2% salary increase for each current employee. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Or each position because we have two vacancies now. Okay. Yes. Got it. Thank you. Does it have a 2% on the vacancies as well? Yes. Okay. So 
So um, maybe can somebody speak to why um, we haven't um, expended what we budgeted for, for Be 18? Because they received whatever across the board increase as a, for, for a budget for that line, mm -hmm. but the police chief did merit increases, evaluations and merit increases, and did not give the full potential increase to each employee. Okay. <clears throat> Which potentially could happen again, even though within that number. I got a question. Uh, this would be directed to the chief. Would a 2% raise allow you to get a sergeant and a new employee, or do you need the 3%? Well, in an <clears throat> ideal world, um, if we took that line on and added 3%, it, it would significantly allow us to, to adjust everyone's pay scale, um, including from sergeant down to the new folks. And we probably wouldn't have an issue next year asking for a whole lot of money, and we won't be saying we're the, we're the lowest paid employees within the county again, uh, because it does raise us significantly. Even with the 3% um, um, that I had proposed, still the bottom number is still less than the year prior. Okay? We just hired a certified police officer who's going to start in, Feb in February, and we started him. Uh, this year, because he was certified uh, with, with, with the holidays at $45,684. Officer Hancock, who's been here for four years now, currently is only making $43,000. And Officer Deepas Quali, who went to the academy with the Rochester officer that we just hired, is currently at forty-one. So if you keep it at the current one point three, we're going to have some issues trying to bring the new officer, uh, excuse me, Officer Hancock and Officer Di Pasquale up to at least what we've hired the new officer at, and the, uh, the new officer that we're hoping to fill, uh, uh, some of you may not know, Officer LaJoy just resigned as of last week, so now we're down uh, another police officer. Um, leading at the 1.3 percent, uh, as you have now, based upon the actual figures, it doesn't allow us any opportunity to try to get someone who is certified again who wants to come to Ronaldsville. Um, so the 2% helps, uh, but certainly the 3% will put us in a very good position that I think will be, will be uh, adequate for, for several years to come. And if the town was kind enough to, to do the 3%, that I would even recommend that the, uh, the officers that are getting that uh, sig sig significant uh, adjustment in their pay, maybe we consider adding, asking them to sign another three-year contract. So we'd be, do we'd, be, uh, we'd be doing well until 2022. I think it's bad practice for the budget committee to be doing this. I fully support an increase in the wages for uh, the police officers, but this is, this is, I think this is the chief and the select board's issue to, to hash this out and settle it. So, I mean, if, if the chief is saying 3% would be great, I, I would suggest we go with 3% for this year because we're sort of in a crisis, we need that. But it would be my hope that next year and in future years, this issue would be hashed out by the select board and the chief before it comes here, because this really isn't our our bag, in my opinion. Point so, of order. He came with three percent. The select board cut him down. Agreed. Okay. Comment. Agreed. Comment though. We were when we put it down. We were not in the position we are right now. So that needs to be put out clear. There, we've lost how many since that decision was yeah. made, Bob? Two, Two more. Well. Officer Di Pasquale is still out in FMLA with the cancer, and uh, Sergeant Stevens left in November, and Officer Joy left last week. Right. So, so. but also, you can approve three percent, but he goes on merit basis, and he doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily give three percent. So over. that still affects the police officers who aren't getting it. No, but if we did fund the three percent, the Select board and the chief could then raise those those salaries 
for the police officers and say, instead of starting at 39 something, we're going to make the bottom 41. Yeah, Am I, I said that last the last time so, we met. Yeah. So I, I guess without getting too far into it, too far afield, I, I mean, my suggestion is that we we approve that money because I think we need it. Um, with the you know the caveat, I guess, or the you know my hope that this gets hashed out with the uh, the select board, and and I guess to that end, the select board could also have come back with you know and changed that and said, well, we want to go three percent right from the get go instead of the 1.3, so it's my two cents. So I don't know if that affects Kim's motion or, or whatever, or how we want to, um, to do that, because we do have a motion on the table that, mm -hmm. that's been seconded. I'll so. draw if somebody wants to make the motion for 3%. Which I will do. And I'll second. So, I just want to understand it. So the, all, the, all the money that was appropriated for the police department last year for salaries was not used. Correct. And now we want to add more money that may not be used. Is that correct? I just want to understand the situation because it, it seems gives like them a Well, it gives them flexibility, especially in this new hiring. So it's giving us uh, views why hiring. chief would not use his full salary capabilities. I mean, if, if you give someone a 2.5 percent raise and you give someone a 1.5 percent raise, that's fine. I know we shouldn't be talking about that, but why wouldn't you use your full salary amount? That's where I'm confused. Merit so not everybody got three percent. So there's some, 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 some that I think or right, well, sorry. No. Correct. I, again, it is based upon their their yearly evaluation, and three percent was the top, and you know not everyone got three percent. However, if you don't put it in there, then I can't give it to someone who's who's doing doing better. So essentially, you know, the the, the right the town. Didn't expend that money this year, but certainly we may do it next year, and, or this year, I should say, at this point, 2019. Mm -hmm. uh. well, I, I will say that it's concerning to me that some of the, our administrative staff make more money than our police officers. That's where we are. Did you make the motion? I did. Yeah, and I second. So, um, this is for 3%? Yes. I have that calculated as an increase of $7,633. For a um, total on that line of 262081. Uh, just a point of clarification for my I'm new to this. Um, at the end of the day, we're saying we want to increase the bottom line budget that goes to the select board. Or to, to, to this goes to the operating budget. Right now, we're saying for this, it's an additional 7,633. We're going to recommend that that goes towards the police salaries. What the select board does with it is it's completely there. Correct. It, yeah. But it's not a $7,000 increase. That's the increase that would be. So we need to. Um, what's the line now? Um, 5890, So if the proposed change at 1.3 was 3,282. Right, it's the difference. It's it, only an increase of the difference. Of because the difference, it's already right. proposed to be an increase. So it's just more of an increase. So it's, it's so we're increasing potentially so, the bottom line by not the 7633, but by right, the, the difference number. between yeah. 7632 and the other. What, what would that mean? Can yep, I can. Thank you. Wasn't it? I guess. Is it, are you proposing 3% over last year's approved appropriation? Whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that brings it that line to 262.081? Right. Yes. And that's an increase to the bottom line of 4,351. Sure. So that, in effect, is what we're, we're recommending that. We put four thousand three hundred and fifty-one dollars additional into the budget, and then with the direction that that money be used for salaries. But how about pay, how about payroll taxes now? Can make an, an adjustment there. Can, can, can we go back one second? What was the number? That, oh, you two sixty-two oh eight oh one is a new number. But what line are we talking? We're talking about one eleven, right? Correct. Because right. someone gave out a, a number that I don't see here, so I want to make sure we're. Clearly. Well, Paul mentioned, I think you were looking at the line above, Paul. 
We're looking at the chief salary. Because the the uh, the approved eighteen is two fifty four four forty eight. Sorry, say that again, Denise. 254-448. It's on line yes. one, one, one. one. Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure we have the same page. Yeah. 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 Y
Um, we still haven't seen the formula um, for the fire, fire department salaries. Correct. We are working on it. Uh, Mark gave us some information. We don't think it's enough for us to calculate what that is, and so I would have to have asked him to uh, supply me additional information so we can get this to you. At this point, we don't have it. So we will have to deal with that at the uh, double bid part of the... Possibly. I, I hope to have it for Saturday, but I don't think I'm going to. So does that mean that we would not be able to... We'll come. <laughs> Hopefully that will be the last item on, on here that we can resolve Saturday, and then how, how, do, we, how do we bring this forward to the hearing? Uh, well, you can if make we a motion to bring it forward. At this point, as it is, as it is, you or can. You can make a motion to cut it. Or you can make a motion to cut it. Yes. Okay. Do we have any motions? I'm, I'm going to wait till Saturday as it happens. Okay. See if the public thinks. Well, we'll see what the calculations. Well, uh, if we wait till Saturday, then. Won't the people who come to the hearing not know that that's an issue that, we, that we're concerned about? We have to bring it forward and deny it, one or the other. You can't just not deal with it. 142. Uh, well, the bottom yes. line is on 170. Well, I, I was just, just going to say that um, the budget committee really ought to bring the budget that it wants to stand behind to the public hearing so that the public knows what it's commenting on. Because if you have, if you are cutting something that wasn't, if they didn't have a problem with fire department salaries, and then you cut fire department salaries at, after the public hearing, then they've lost that opportunity at the public hearing to comment on the fact that you cut them. So it's important that whatever you bring forward tonight to Saturday is whatever this group wants to support. Well, there is deliberative session as well, though. Yeah. But they miss the public hearing. And then you're not being transparent about what's already in your head. So they need to, the public, the purpose of the public hearing is for the public to get to weigh in on how you feel about this budget. Okay. Okay, we're talking just the operating because we haven't got the warrant yet, correct? Yeah. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to make a motion that we reduce that salary line to a 3% increase over last year's approved appropriation. Um, so, you know, it's coming in line with um, the police department. Um, I really feel that, well, well actually, I'll make that motion and then we'll, we can discuss. So I want to make sure, we're talking about 142, line 142. Mm -hmm. And reduce the 4% increase? Um, a 3%, so, so make it a 3% increase on that line instead of 24. $30 increase. Decrease. Well, increase from over Increase last over the last year. So the total new number for that line would be $42,230. Mm -hmm. um, again, there's payroll taxes to consider. Yes, $42,230. Do we have a second? Hang on a second. I'm, now, I'm not sure I understand what, what just happened. So we decreased from an increase of 24%. Mm -hmm. We're only going with a 3% a increase? Correct. And what does that do to our numbers? That should it's gonna, well, it's going to be a total of... So right now well, you're reducing three. the bottom line of the budget by 8,770 mm -hmm. from the proposed. So instead of it saying 51,000. It's, it would say 42,330. Actually, we're at, actually with the, that's a proposal of a suggested change, but what the bottom line needs to be changed by the 8,770. So it would be, you would deduct 8,770 from that line. It would yes. be a recommended a column put in by the budget committee, and that's your recommendation. So and that line would stay as it's been presented to the budget committee. You would have another column, and that's where it's going to show the decrease for your recommended budget with that decrease. And then when it goes to public hearing, they will see what 
is proposed by the select board and then what is proposed by the budget mm -hmm. committee. Well, if I may, John. Do we have a second? Oh, we have a second. Yes. We have a second? That's oh. Nancy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the chief planning to come to the mayor? What meeting? Saturdays? Yeah. He's not able to. He will have somebody in his stead. I will be somewhere so just to speak. Yes. Open discussion. Yeah. But I'm concerned. I mean, the chief came in here, and I thought made a very strong case that he needs to raise the salaries of his people. Um, and, and we're cutting this. I, I don't understand. We don't have any idea how they're paid. And so besides that, um, I really think we need more data about how they're, how they're compensated. Um, whether or not they should be minimum wage employees or not, I think there's more, we need to have a, probably a, a committee um, to look at how they're paid, should they be paid in a different structure, and should we consider regionalization, quite frankly. Mm. And, and I don't disagree with that, but I'm afraid that, uh, again, as with the police department, I think we're in a sort of a crisis situation with the folks we don't know that. that are over there. I think we do, from what the chief was saying. I mean, some of those guys are making less than minimum wage when we they go on fire that. calls. We don't have any numbers. We have no data to base that decision Anecdotally, on. that's what the chief has told us. That's, that's what he said. I'm okay with that for this time through. I agree with you 100%. We need to get that data. We need to get that. And they should be paid, it seems to me, with, with all... Um, reference to fire department tradition, um, they should be paid on a, on a regular basis that we can understand, um, rather than this point thing of how, you know, and I, I guess I don't understand why if you, you know, you get less money the more number of guys that show up at a fire, you get paid less. But if you're the only one there, you get paid a lot. It, it doesn't, I don't understand that. So I, I think needs to be evaluated. the whole thing, I, I agree with you. But I am concerned that the chief came in here and made, I thought, a pretty strong case for the need to drastically increase the, the salary and the pay for his personnel. And, and I think we should respect that. And I, I, I agree with you that, you know, this is confusing and I would like to see some hard numbers. But personally, I'll give him a year and say, okay, here's your money. Let's, you know, I, I want to see in detail how you're doing this and, and maybe, you know, direction to the select board that, you know, this needs to be changed so that we can get a better handle on this. Nancy? Um, did he at least give you who, how the point system is set up? Yeah, I, I know I know how the, the point system is uh, one point for every hour. If you're an officer, it gets increased by a point. So a, a lieutenant, let's see, how does that rank? Lieutenant is two points, captain is three points, deputy chief is four points, assistant chief is five points, and the chief is six points. Only for, for the, the first hour. Mm -hmm. And then after that is one point for everything. But anybody who is not an officer is one point at the beginning and one point going forward. It's a very confusing, very confusing. Now, is, there, is there a dollar? I mean, yeah, if you think I, 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 need, well, I can only tell you what that point is. I tried to get to his numbers, and I can't. So I have called out to him that I need more additional information and I sit down with him so we can figure out exactly. I want to say, okay, this person did this many calls, got this many points, this is what he got. What is his hourly rate based on that? I, I don't have enough information right now. I've been working on it for a week. Caroline has also been looking at it. It's complicated. So. But to your point, though, they take the salary amount by quarter. Yeah. And they figure out how many points everybody all together earned. And they divide the salary amount by the number of points to, to come up with a point value for that quarter. So what do they take? Do they take the budget, say, in a quarter, we have so much money? Yep. And Correct. Then, and then in that quarter... We can only spend so much. Yep. These are the points. They take the that budget amount. They divide it into quarters because yep. they're paid quarterly. And if there are 256 points collectively between everybody, then you divide the quarterly amount by the collective number of points to get a singular point value. And then you multiply that by however many points an individual earns. So the big question is, just to feel better about it, I think, is the guys that are going to the fire that aren't the officers, to get the one point plus the one point, what are they making? 
See that know that. it's going to be different by quarter too. Because, I, I, you I know, based on that, so it's right. based on how many points that you have, and then you divide it by that quarter. So you could get, for instance, you could get eight dollars an hour one, and then you could get four dollars an hour in the next quarter but because it's based set, on what you know. But the, but the way it's set up right now, the higher ups are always going to get a much higher amount. Correct. Mm -hmm. But they're the ones in charge, and, and they're the ones responsible for the rest of the crew. I get that. But you always pay your. But our problem right now is we're not able to retain the lowest. Mm -hmm. So I guess my question is, is the fire department willing to restructure it so that it's more enticing to the lowest? That's what I'm working on with Mark. And we're going to come with a plan, and then it's going to be a sponsored plan by the Board of Selectmen, in my opinion. I haven't brought that up to them yet, but in my opinion, this has to be blessed by the Board of Selectmen going forward so we totally understand how the pay structure is and making sure everyone fairly gets their compensation. But I gotta understand it first. And it's very yeah. very cumbersome. It's hard to vote on when you don't know what it is. I agree. Right. I this point. paperwork is eleven seventeen seventeen. Gives you a total breakdown of every employee in town. We don't have that this year. What? I didn't understand what you said. We have a breakdown of two uh, eleven seventeen seventeen of all town employees their salaries okay. for the whole town. 17. We don't have one for 18. Was it requested? Yeah. I, was it, did anybody ask for it? We asked for a request for the fire department. I know. We're working on it. You know, I know, but you didn't ask for the head down. Yeah. We asked the chief a month ago for this data, and it hasn't come. Um, and, you know, quite frankly, I, I don't, I'm not in favor of just throwing money at it and hoping it gets fixed. All right. I have a question here. Who is a member of the fire department and who isn't? I, I, I understand it, maybe I'm confused here, but we hire a new man this week. He, he's never had any previous fire experience and so forth. Is, is he a trainee or is he a member of the fire department immediately? And it seems to me that and what we're doing is, first of all, compensating some people who aren't qualified to really be a bona fide member of the fire department because they still should be in training status and so forth. I don't know how it's done, but it's very critical. And I'm concerned this group doesn't get paid. The trainee, he comes in, he immediately gets paid and doesn't know, and we know more about it what our job is and what they, uh, they do. But I don't know how they do it over there. If, if you work for so many months that you get a certain minimum knowledge or you had some previous training in school or somewhere else, how do you determine that a think, person is a qualified? I think the chief mentioned that there is that. You can't just walk in like you used to be able to. You have to, you have, to have some basic level of training before you can Go out. Well, before you can go out on a truck. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. They do in-house training. They also send them away with training. But if you go in there and you have absolutely no training, you're not going on a truck. You cannot. Well, you have you to have a get certain. Paid. That's what I'm worried about. That's the issue. Well, because now. they're doing training and they get trained. For, they get paid for training. So. I don't agree with that. Okay. All right. So I have to vote no on that item of the budget this year, personally. So there's a motion on the table. Um, there's still some discussion, I think. Bill, Bill you have um, a question? Again, I'm, my feeling is I, I think the chief made a strong case in here for, for the increase. I, I agree. I do not like what we're seeing in terms of that. The, the amount of money, I guess, you know, it is what it is. I, I think it's worth it to give him that latitude and freedom and say he knows what we feel and let's make sure this get done, gets done. So. Otherwise, if we don't have the money in there, are we going to lose people and, and are people going to leave and say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm out of here. So that's that's my two cents. Well, you just said, you know, give him the latitude to, you know, we tell him to get it done, but he didn't get us what we needed to get it done get, to, to make this decision. Okay. And again, he's a, you know, a part-time guy, and, you know, it's, that's not his, you know, so. Well, I disagree. I don't think he made a strong case. I. That was the one thing that really bugged me about this whole just budget. To say, yeah, such a big out liar. Uh, you uh, Emily. I think that's disrespectful. Sorry. Don't call people liars. 
So he's an oh, outlier. 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 My apologies. Outlier. 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 <laughs> um, my apologies. That's what I heard. Emily. Well, um, I feel like there's, you know, there are no concerns really that I could see that people are being overpaid for doing this job. So while I completely agree that we need some more clarity and that it seems like the structure for pay should be changed, I don't think that cutting the funding for the salary is, is the way to get there. Um, I feel like they need that money to pay people to do the job and you know, while they're doing that we should get the clarity for it. But I don't think that I don't I don't see how cutting the line or suggesting that the line is cut is going to make the situation better. Any other discussion that's any well other? Never, it never gets taken back, so once it goes in it's never coming back out again. All right. Well first I'm sorry to comment it's not cut, it's being drastically reduced. And that the increase is being cut, sorry. Um, and I, I agree with Bill about the Chief's concern about retaining people. The hard thing to swallow is something getting a 24% increase. Period. That tells me that it's been, some of them missing it. But that's what the... Uh, but I don't think it's a 24% increase. Yes, it is. Yes. It is. Totally, it isn't by person. Okay. It's total is 24%, yeah, but, but it's not by person. Not per person. No, right. every, yeah. Not everyone's yeah. going to yeah. get a 24% yeah. increase. Right. No, it's going to vary per person. Is it 24% on point or per person? I'm sorry? 24% on point, whatever point may be? Well, it's increasing it, so the points will be divided by, you will take the, uh, it would be. the 51,000 and you divide it by 4, and your point range, your point value will be higher, but it won't be 24%. Yeah. So when the chief brought this to us last year, this my last year, this is the first point to stood up. Even to the select board, he never explained that he was going to be a higher point than everybody else. He explained the point system to us, and he said everybody was going to be a point, and when you show up, and he never said his point on the system was higher and that the lieutenant was higher. He just said everybody was the same point value. That's where I was shocked this year. I'm like, whoa, not what you told me. So I'm a little bit taken back by that because when we raise it this much, and he's a six points to start. For one hour, though. And he goes on almost all the calls. Yes, but it's so over one. So he's giving now. himself like hour. a... Five point raise. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just for one hour, though. Then it goes I to one know. point going forward. I realize okay. that. Okay, I just want to make sure you're clear. So I agree that the transparency is, is really flawed. Really flawed. <laughs> and I sat on the select board when he presented this to us for the first time. So now it's, it's a much harder pill to swallow because it's been. 18 months now? Two years? So, that's my concern. Billy, you have another? Yeah, about it. Okay. Frank, I have a question. Um, did, I wasn't there for the meeting when he came to visit, when he came to visit. Did he present, if we couldn't, we can't maintain, I guess the problem is we don't have enough people during the day, right? Mm -hmm. They could respond to fires and whatnot. Everybody works. Everybody works. So, was there another option for which to do with the monies or, you know, to, to be able to staff? For DM people. He mentioned in the future yeah. that there would be some, there would be and what was, was there a cost associated? Was there any yeah. That's the part. About what the cost is that needs to be part of the study, you know. Um, we really need to look at that whole picture. I, you know, I, I, I get it. No, but there was no number. I get it, but my concern, you know, I, I, I'm looking at it two ways. I'm saying, well, what will it cost us if we don't have people? You know, what's, what's, what's our obligation there? Um, but, yeah, that, that point system is kind of eye-opening, unfortunately, because, you know, you give 
so much for one point, but that those other people are getting so much more for the first. It is tough. That is a little bit tough to swallow. I, didn't I think it's it harder to retain when they're getting the one point to right. when they're starting. Because, you know, we're really trying to bring in, we're trying to make, make the, the, the low, the group bigger that can respond to a fire. And if we're trying to do that, maybe we need to change that system somewhat. I mean, I realize that the higher up should get more, but I do also realize that, yeah, maybe we need to so a different rate for the... The, the chief gets gets $7,200 a, a year for... The stipend. The stipend. But he also he now gets and then he gets some calls. That gets just changed. Calls. Calls. They never got their calls before. Right. Now he gets calls as well. And, and basically what we get for that money is a guy that's been on the job for 30 some odd years right. who has got all this training and knows that's well, that, that's what I was bringing up with what's the alternative what's the alternative and what's it going to cost for that and I think the, the alternative is regionalization hmm. and we went down that road yeah. and we looked at it and the, from what I understand the costs are more than we want to spend. I think it was done for police. We don't know that though. We've no. never seen any data on that. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, I, I want to make it clear here. It sounds like I'm just worried about the 2400 or whatever. But I'm worried about the procedure and the information that uh, the managers or anyone else here can really give us a good explanation and see, and I, I go back 40 years when the, 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 these were for volunteers and so forth. And then somewhere along the line, the state or somebody changed the law, and now they're, they got to be town employees, and I got to have minimum wage, and a whole bunch of other things come in here. But we, we should know how many we got of these guys that are uh, got to have minimum wage. And if they're not getting minimum wage, I fully support. We, well, I like it or not, we have to comply with the state laws. But what are the state laws? And when they, when they change, and, and the, the state keeps changing laws, which means that the, the SLAC going to have to change their approaches and everyone else. And, and if we're going to be acting as informed persons on this board, we should understand exactly why he needs 40%. You say up here that uh, he gave a very good explanation. I didn't think he gave any explanation. He said, I need it and I got to have it. And, 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 and was that just brand new this past year or has that been here 10 years and we just haven't been complying with the law or whatever. But that's all why I really wanted is to understand the decision we're making and exactly why we're making it. And the fire department seems to be a bit more unique, so I need to know more now about the fire department and the uh, police department. That it's already been hashed out what the status of the police is and yeah. so forth. But I don't know what the status of the police I can, I can right. speak to that if you want. Go ahead, Caroline, please. Historically, they were volunteer departments. They don't call them that anymore. But you're right. When they were completely different governmental agencies when in their inception, and then so they were they had completely outside autonomy outside of town and city structures. And then time slowly changed, and they evolved, and they became town employees who got this nominal per call kind of structure. We're not uncommon in this structure, as arcane and strange as it seems. It's really very common in small town um, fire departments. But, but what's interesting is, or what the shift is, and the dynamic that you're playing with here is that if you pay them minimum wage or more than minimum wage, at some point there's a non-defined by the state line in the sand at which you're paying them enough that it's no longer a nominal, nominal stipend. For example, you don't call the police chief an employee, he's an elected official, he gets his annual stipend. And that's the structure that we've used to pay the firefighters. So the, the chief, I don't know if he can articulate this, but what he's struggling with is when you pay them these small nominal amounts, you, have, you struggle with retention. And, and we are, much like the police department, a feeder town for bigger communities. 
we help train them, they get experience, and they move on to bigger communities over and over and over again. And so what he's trying to do is, is shift us from the nominal sort of non-employee compensation more closer to employees. I'm reading what she's saying, and, um, and I'll send it all around to you guys, but it does, it, it says that um, it's not allowed to exceed 20% of the amount that would otherwise be required to hire a permanent employee for the same services. And if it is, they're called employees, and there's a whole other set of rules. So I'll send that article more. You need a study. No, I mean, you can make the same argument for the police department. Why not just increase them by 10% or 24%? Yeah. It, I, I think for me, and, and perhaps just for me, the fire chief has made the case that he needs a substantial increase. Substantial increase. More than more than the, fire, uh, the police department. He's made that case to me. And therefore, I'm, I'm willing to say, okay, you know, I'm, I'm good with this for now. But as we said... You know, we want to see how you're doing this, and also I think the select board needs to take a look at it, and we need to pay them differently. I mean, but well, like law enforcement, firefighting has become a profession. You, you don't just grab guys off the street and say, you know, here, go to the fire. They send them up to the academy. I don't know how long they're up there, but they got all sorts of stuff up there to teach them how to do this and be safe. It's, it's, it's not, you know, it, it's gotten away from that whole volunteer side that I think it, it used to be. And people want to be paid as professionals for what they do. And it's not just fires they do. They have to know all the other stuff. CPR. CPR, uh, you know, medical side of it. So, um, well, I have to agree with Bill, though. I mean, it's, the, you guys want to make a motion, we'll vote on them anyway. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I'd say so. Well, so I guess we should try to get the fire department. I mean, $8,000 or $9,000. Are there any more comments, or should we have a... I have a comment. Okay, last year he asked for fifteen hundred. Select board gave him another thousand. So you got twenty five last year. I do believe he needs an increase, but I would go with five thousand rather than the ten thousand because I don't think he gave us enough information. We asked for information and he didn't follow it. But I definitely believe he needs an increase, but ten, I don't know. So that would Require a new motion. Yeah, I'm not making a motion. I'm saying I'm leaning towards the five. Well, that's on the floor. Okay. Yeah. I know. No, but it's a comment on so. What was the question? Four percent. Right? Um, well, Kim made a motion to three percent decrease the increase, right? Decrease the twenty-four point um, four percent to three. Three percent. Um, In other words, make the increase over last year to three percent instead of twenty-four yes. percent. Okay. Well, I, I just want to make a point, um, and no offense, Denise, but I think that you should abstain from the vote since your son works on the fire department. It doesn't affect me personally or financially, and that's the only reason why I don't have to abstain. You don't think there's a conflict there? When my husband was fire chief, I abstained from all the votes because it affected me personally and financially. My son doesn't live with me, and I shouldn't be able to... I should be able to vote. Someone has to stick up for him. And it's on the record. It is on the record. Yep. The town's not taken. Um, so, all the questions. I would, I would request a roll call vote, too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, Please. So, so Jody, um, what's your position? Uh, yes to the. Yes to the decrease. Person. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. Nancy? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Emily? No. Charlie? I'm voting yes, even though I'm not in favor of it, but uh, like I've expressed my opinion. But they said you don't want to get blindsided on Saturday, so I'm voting yes. You're voting yes to reduce For that it. reason. To the, this is to decrease of how much? To a 3% over last year. To an increase of $1,230. So I'm going to say no. Yes. I'm going to say no. 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 God, you're mad at me. Paul was no. Bill was no. 
and Denise was no. Mm -hmm. Because that's that. Mm -hmm. I yes. John gets to vote. Five, okay. five yeses and one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five noes. You can vote. You have to go break the time. I will vote now. Do I make a motion to No. Still on my mic. So it's failing six to five, correct? Yeah, I'll make the motion. One, two, three, four, five, one. Michelle was not here, so that's. Five, six to five, correct. And you don't know. I'll make a motion that we cut it $5,000 instead of 10. Second. Okay. Thank you. So, so I understand this. So you're cutting what? He's the proposed he change yeah. from 10000 to 5000 Right. Correct. Because I don't think he gave us enough information. And I do believe he needs an increase. So that's going 12 and a half, 12 percent. Which is twice as much as last year. So we're going in the right direction. Was there a second? Second. Well, Ed second. Ed Any discussion? Ready to, to vote on that? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Jody? Yes. Nancy? Yes. I'm not doing this very well. Um, Kim? Yes. Emily? No. Yes. Charlie is yes, of course. Yes. Um, Frank is yes. Ed? Yes. And Paul? I'm going to go yes. Bill? No. No. And I believe that means six to three. Seven. seven to three. Um, mm -hmm. so six, seven to three. three. So yeah, the motion passes. Yes. That's double in what they got last year. Oh, I think it sends a message. Any other um, questions for on the fire department budget? Yes. On the radio equipment, he, this is saying that he's buying two radios, is that correct? That is correct. Line 153. Yes, line 153, yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's my recollection is two radios and the lease agreement for the year. The yeah, MOU. Yeah, yeah. MOU, yeah. yeah. Which is contractual. That's why the default is different. Mm -hmm. Got it. And there was some comment when the chief was here about um, discussing matters with the Sonsa Police Department to get a grant because some of that is understanding fire department. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, Mike. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, well, there's somebody else over there. Mike well, is over there as well, but I think it's another person. Health is great. I'm sorry. Yeah. They, I think they pretty much do it every year. Oh, they're not. We can do it after. You know. Um, any other questions about the fire department budget? They haven't been hard to raise. Payroll taxes. That is <coughs> sure, right? Yeah, Carol is working on that. Um, oh. There is a total for that, but I think it warrants its own motion because it's, it's, it's a different line. Um, if you were to calculate payroll taxes based on the new amount of $46,000 for that line, the new amount for payroll taxes would be $3,519. Which is a decrease of $3,519. So that would be a decrease of. <coughs> A decrease of nine hundred forty dollars. So do we have a motion difference? The numbers are. So do we need a motion to to 
reduce that number by the uh, yes. applicable taxes? I'll make the motion. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. If I could just have a moment. Um, I didn't include the chief stipend, which is also subject to that. While she's doing that, I guess just sort of no, the point. No, we didn't adjust that. If, if we, I know, but I didn't do the... Uh, if we vote against this, then what happens? Say we don't approve this decrease. I mean, the decrease is a done deal because we already... Right. So to decrease the payroll taxes seems moot to me. I mean... Yeah. Well, we have to know what the number is in order to do the bottom line. Agreed. But I don't think we need a separate motion for it. No. Well, yeah. it, it, what will have to happen is at the very end, we'll have to give a new total of what the budget's going to be. Agreed. Yeah. And, we'll, and we'll vote on that total. Yeah. yeah. I think goes we just make, right. we need to make sure you're, you're voting on, on the real bottom line that include, at the end, right. which includes whatever you think it's including. But it's a separate vote to approve. It's a separate line, line. Yeah, so I, I just want to make sure that we're being explicit about Agreed. dollars and where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. So the payroll taxes is $3,693 now for that department. It, it, the previous number didn't include the chief stipend. What was the number? $3,693. But aren't all of our... Um, that's all a of decrease our... of 766, sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay. Emily, a question? Yeah, I, I know we're talking about specific lines, but aren't all of our um, motions to amend just the bottom line anyways? Again, so, right, okay. with suggestions. Right. Just trying to keep track of it. suggest where they're right. going to take it from. Because yeah. bottom line is... Because they've read... Yeah, but my point... Yeah. To Bill's point is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the point is it's our budget that goes sadly yeah. right yeah. to the voters. But if it just... just no, I know. But at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the oh, meeting, yeah, 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 the bottom line, line number that, that has all these components. Correct. To and, it in. and they've asked us to give suggestions of where we would like cuts so right. that Got when it. it goes to the bottom. Do our recommendations go on that specific line? Not necessarily yes. because yes, yes. I think we oh, on, yeah. on the budget part, yes, yes. it does. Yeah. Yes. but that doesn't that doesn't so include them. They can do what they want, right? right. But the but the but the public will the public will see our recommendation. Correct. Right. Okay, so we do not need uh, to vote on that at this point as long as we get the numbers. The number is yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm glad somebody else is keeping track of numbers. This is really interesting. Um, any other fire department? Um, Why, why is it? So, we did. 
We did um, so. make an adjustment last year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, no, I can certainly make the proposals now um, if, if that's what you want to do. I think that would be better to do it now. Okay. Um, we'll vote. Right.
since you're proposing it, Kim. I think you have, yep. you have a rationale behind it. I do. The... I do. Um, so as I said, I, I um, averaged out the last couple of years, um, and um, I basically took the average over the last couple of years and increased it um, by, you know, a modest amount, and that's where I came up with those numbers. Okay, I have a clarification. I come up with seventeen fifty, seventeen five hundred, instead of thirteen five hundred, based on those numbers. Um, Salt on the back of the trucks, correct? 
So that was hoping to save money on salt usage. There is a process. So green crawlers. Yeah. So but so we're still going to go with the same amount of money. So we're not saving any. It looks like. Well, you don't know, right? Because you have more storms, then you need more salt. Yeah. From last year was remarkably. Mm. And, then, and if we do have more, need more salt, we just won't go over the budget on that line and buy the salt anyhow. Oh, right, because you're not going to. So we're not, we're, we're not endangering the, uh, and that's every item was already very tight. Unless there's more money coming out, he's about 22000 under budget from last year on what's money spent. In 18. This is this is not final money. I'm still cutting checks on 18, mm -hmm. including salt. Yeah, I just signed it. Do you know the current number? Oh, yeah. Not offhand, but if, you know they run $2,500 to $3,000 an invoice, and there's at least one. So we still, we'll say, even if there's $15,000 um, unexpended for the year, that's significant. since we're doing this, um, to reduce the um, executive, no, the town clerk budget by $700 um, for the voting group. Oh, yeah. um, just so you're going back to where we started? Well, it, I, I, I was going to do this after yeah. May. Yeah. Um, one, two, Do you want to reduce it by the $700? Oh, is this the voting? I'll second it. Please do you know why did she not come to the select board again? No, she did not. So she never got back to you and said she, no, she did not. But she was here and asked for the yeah. cut. Yeah. So you didn't make I, it back to the slide. I did board. not. She should have come to us. She presented the budget to us. She should have asked for a retraction on it. But similar to what the school did on Saturday, they said we want to reduce it by 15, and we all decided to vote on it and reduce it by 15. So I think that's, I mean, that's, that was her intent. Maybe she didn't need to buy that extra voting booth. So any, um, any discussion about the, that item? Do we need a roll call vote? Uh, let's try it this way. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Any abstaining? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Here, catch up here. Um, <laughs> the next one is um, under government buildings. Um, We're staying on this. Yeah. Highway. I'd like to make a motion. No. Wait a minute, she's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Can we keep it? Like the consecutive yeah, we're, we're sort of all yeah. the Well, only here. because we we're going to do this on Saturday. Yeah. Um, so no, I understand this is the that, last I'm, one. I'm almost wondering if we should have gone through to the rest of them and then come back. But. Okay. 
That's okay. Yeah, we can yeah. do that. Um, so, but I can. Was, yeah, I, I'm fine just continuing at this okay. point. Okay. Um, so, do you want to go first, Charlie? Yeah, I can go first. I'd like to make a motion to cut 25000 from the highway department. And this is coming right out of the road maintenance. I mean, we had 325 last year and we didn't spend 325 and only we spent 307 And I think, to be honest, we have to show some justice in cutting this budget. And I think that would be a line that wouldn't really hurt because when the highway department came in, he gave us numbers that were between 310 and 410 for the roads. So even if he did come up with a 350, he couldn't come up with all the roads that he had. And I think 325 is still going to do a lot of roads in town. That's just my opinion. What line are you in? He's back on 197. 197. Second. Uh, is there a second discussion? I thought I remembered hearing that we are one year behind on our road program because we weren't able to do as many things as we wanted to because we didn't have enough money. So I think we drew, didn't, we, didn't they draw the line in the sand and say we've got to stop at this point? I, I, I will clarify because I asked why I did look into the budget from last year and, and why they didn't spend. Um, and it was because yeah, Woods Run was intended to be one portion of it reclaimed, which would then do a two-inch binder, and then the whole on that section, and then the whole thing would then be uh, top coat. Um, they found that the sub sub base condition wasn't good, so they ended up um, reclaiming the entire roadway, and therefore using a reclamation was more expensive, and they used a two-inch binder, which was twice as much as what they had anticipated. They didn't have enough to do the, the final code, so that project came out under because they didn't have enough to do the whole the whole thing, what they what they planned. So, so they they would have come out if, if the project had been as defined, they would have come out probably on budget. Um, that's why they were ahead of budget last year. Um, the roads that he's mentioned, Sligo Road, um, I believe Heritage is is in there. Um, I mean, they don't have they don't have quotes yet. But aren't they behind schedule for the roads that they wanted to continue? Well, there's a there's a road there's a road plan, and they haven't updated the road plan um, in a couple of years. But the road plan lays out in every year what you're going to do for all the roads. So the, the change that I understand right now is that Sligo Road, for instance, was going to be done in like 2023 or something. That's obviously the priority gets bumped up because it's it needs to be done now. So that's what they were talking about, the road plan not being updated. Uh, but it still has an annual uh, amount and a, and a, and a, and a roadway plan priority. That's, that's what I know. So, um, oh, so, but, but you're right, though, that now what we did in 18 became a two-year project rather than a one-year project. So the plan is to do what we did in 18 all over again. Not actually, but the same roads to finish those. And then add that small section of Sligo between Bear Road and Woods Run. So, so yes, it's all like de kind of delayed a year because we spent more money doing, you know, we didn't fully expend the budget, but we spent more money doing half the project than what one would have expected to do about half the project. So would there be a warrant article for the remainder of that money to bring to the next year? No, because we don't operate like the water and sewer district, Frank. Point okay. <laughs> <laughs> taken. No. You, that, that's possible. One, one could do that, but no. no. I'll say that um, the amount, the, the area, the part of Sligo Road that they're planning to redo is 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 in bad shape, but they're, they're, I think there's other parts of Sligo Road that are as bad or worse that they're not planning to do. Um, so, uh, you know, I, you could easily spend a lot more than what they've got proposed, I think. That's my, 
You'll, have to, I, you'll just have to cut I, off. And I, I, guess my I guess my question, though, is can we get back on track with, with that extra $25,000 put us back on track to where we want to be, or are we basically here behind? I think we're behind. Right, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think we say exactly. And is that, but and is, uh, are we holding back anybody by pulling back that money, or are they not ready to do it anyway? I guess. We're only going to do as do much anyway. money as they have. Right. We need to be able to do Sligo further if there's money there. Right. Versus if it's not, well, I guess they may not do it at all. Yeah. Yeah. What I mean, what is the what are the circumstances of taking the twenty five thousand dollars out? I guess that's what, what will happen. What what it's won't kicking, be done? It's kind of kicking the can down the road, and I think they could do it. They could decide not to put the top coat on um, with <clears throat> I think uh, George told me that it could go an extra year without being. That's another out. method. But that's just that's basically kicking your, the can down the road. The whole the whole program is getting then shifted. And, and uh, if I know a little bit about bituminous asphalt. It, it, it becomes brittle over time. It's, it doesn't last forever. It, it, that's why it cracks and breaks up. It has a, it has a design life, and, and it falls apart. And so if you get behind on that, you pay a lot more in maintaining than you do if you keep keep up with your maintenance and top coating and all that. So that, that's just the way it, the way it works. And we're, be, we're a little behind, I think. Definitely on Sligo, but we're behind it. We're way behind on what it's run. And since we never bore tested heritage, we had no idea what was under it. <coughs> so. Now, follow up in that area now. When we're putting $5 on a car vehicle registration each time you register a vehicle for maintenance, for road maintenance. How much is in that account? Maybe forty-five hundred dollars. Maybe I transferred this year, and last year was the first year. So I would say under ten thousand yeah. dollars. But I'd have to check. Any other discussion? Okay, we'll have a vote. Bear with me. I'm not doing my. Is that one now in Saffron? Hmm? Is that why you want to check it? Right, you're the first one. Yeah. You can go the other way. Okay, I'll do that. My desk will go that way. You can do that. Denise. Denise says no. Bill. Bill is no. 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 Paul. I'm going to say no. Ed? I'm going to say no because one thing I do get benefit from my tax dollars is driving down the roads. I don't get tax benefit from a lot of other things that you so I'm not going to take the road, road work out. I want the roads fixed up. Because <laughs> right, that's where I want my main benefit. No. Uh, Charlie. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to Transfer station heat minus 300. 
fire station. I'm sorry, can you hold on a second? Yeah. Fire get 300 transfer station. Thank you. Can we get line numbers on that? Transfer station is 84. Town hall heat is 82. Um, fire station heat minus 900. That's 85. And then fire station maintenance um, minus 500. Number seven. 90. 93. Um, so again, you know, um, heating costs are down, uh, and I give an average of the last couple of years with a, um, a modest increase in those lines, and that's why I arrived at that number. Can you repeat those because it's not what your total is? You're saying total is 3,700 you're reducing? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, never mind. So town hall heat is two grand. What was the next one? Um, I'll go down through them again. Fire station heat minus 900. Fire station maintenance minus 500. Town hall heat minus 2,000. And transfer station heat minus 300. Um, and you want to have a, shall we have a second on that? Do we have a second? Second. 30 seconds. And discussion? Why don't you? Um, so, um, again, you know, I just looking at places where we can potentially reduce um, this budget um, from almost 9% to something less than 9%. So, what I did was I took the average on um, the last two years' average um, and did a modest increase on those lines as well. Um, well, 84 is that um, the final expenditure of 374? None of those are final expenditures, and I just got, a, like, just tonight, Denise approved electricity and fuel bills that I'm going to pay later this week. So this whole department is not yet fully expended. Do you have any idea what... This one was last time this one would update. Yeah. This is... Year end, it includes December from about two or three weeks ago. Okay. So the only bill you'll have is December. Well, so electricity is once a month, but fuel is on demand and in some cases weekly. I got, I think it was like four or five. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I heard. Suzanne mentioned as we were going through the year that the heating costs were actually going up. Did I hear that wrong? Or, or was that just electricity? Electricity. Well, electricity. 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 I think because of the air condition, it was that. Well, I believe public service raised its rates. Or something back in late summer, early fall. That's probably what I'm remembering. Did, yeah. Yeah. But, but heating oil is. Down. The next increase is January. The heating oil, we're saying, is oh, that's what that's most of this is for, right? Is it is only yeah, and they're under they have it's rack plus whatever. Fire has propane and oil. Okay. Um, transfer station is just propane. Town hall is town hall is just oil. oil. Oil's down, propane's up. Mm -hmm. So, any, dis any more discussion on this side of the second? So, uh, on the vote. Do I have time to make a mention? Oh, please. So, sure. I'd recommend maybe half as much because we don't know what the bills are. I'd recommend changing it to maybe half as much, not. So you'd like to amend it? I'd like to amend it. From 37 to what? From 37 to 50. Where do we know this propane associated? I guess we can do it that way. Transfer station, heat, so and. Try. Um, Fire station. Fire station is half heat, half yeah, so half I wouldn't water. touch either of those. I'd put that, I'd leave those alone. Um, and then I guess the other items, I, I think maybe we go to half. 
So we. Can we so how do we do it? So that would be town hall heat would be maybe yeah, minus well, minus a thousand. Uh, does the, does the maker of the motion want to amend it, or it's been seconded? It's on the floor. Right, right. right. So it, it, so we you can amend question. it if he gets a second. Amend it. And vote on the amendment. Vote on the amendment first. We're not amending the motion. All right, I'll second your amendment. Amendment. I should finish it though. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want. Line, eight, line 82 heat. Um, let's take 100 out of it. Line, um, line 84 and 85 don't touch. Um, repair and maintenance of the fire station. Um, I'm sorry, line 82, what, what's line What are you doing to 82? Yeah. 100 or 1,000? Oh, I'm sorry, 1,000. Okay, okay, thank you. Line 82 minus 1,000. Um, don't touch any of the other lines until you get to the fire station. Um, uh, I'm kind of familiar with the fire station. I've been in and out of there quite a bit because my son is on the fire department. I think they need the money. I think they need the, the, I, I've seen the building. I'm just going to say that. Um, and that, that was the only four lines, right? Did you have any more than four? Um, nope, that was it. So I guess I'm asking. It's minus a thousand. Yeah. yeah. So all I'm asking is to minus a thousand on the uh, on the heat of the town hall instead of thirty-seven. So it'll be a twenty-seven hundred dollar decrease then. No, no, just no, 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 no. To decrease only one thousand. So we then go to twenty-seven hundred. Is that? Nope. No. No. So to a thousand. He's amending it to. He's amending it. Line 82 minus $1,000. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. Good luck, Gordon. Good evening, second. It's recording. Yes, she did. So, uh, so Jody for, seconded? Yeah. Uh, all, shall we do a roll call of Frank's motion? Or we, we vote on the amendment. Oh, sorry. We have to vote on, on the amendment, on the amendment first.
five thousand dollars last year. Um, we spent nothing. Well, nothing in two thousand seventeen. What is the purpose of that line? What what line are we looking at? Sixty three. It was intended to cover the liability of somebody leaving. If so, if it's the end of the year. Um, and they are somebody who's grandfathered in the old personnel policy, then we are liable for paying them out all of their vacation they have on hand and two weeks of, ten days of sick time. Um, also, it was sort of a contingency, as it says, insurance adjustments, so that if mid-year you have somebody changing from a less expensive, say, a single to a two-person or to a family, it's a way to be able to cover that cost. Do we have anyone on that list? Um, so. Most people. Well, let me. Um, yes, we do. Okay. Okay. We do. Now, question on: When the sergeant left, would he have got some of this for his annual leave that he had? It came out of his salary line. It did. I mean, in concept, yes. But it came out of his salary line because it was, although near the end of the year, there was still salary money enough to cover it. Okay. No motion. No motion.
right, so it's a, a difference of $200 and $200 at the 3%. I can't read the numbers. I'm sorry. Um, so, okay, so you want to know what the increase is? I believe I saw an increase of 2.99. I had it written down for a to reduce the librarian salary by to 2% down to 26999 and it would be a decrease of how much total on the bottom? So you want to oh, know what the, the difference is? Yes, please. Oh. Just minus it, I'll still come out a little. Is that big enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 27264. So it would be a difference of 264 to 265. They were $265. Right. So what's getting reduced? What? The librarian's salary would be reduced by $265. $265. To give her a two percent, like everybody else was getting. Second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all the rest, all the rest of the personnel is getting two. Just public safety is different, apparently. Um. So we got a second from from Kim, right? Yep. And uh, discussion. Does anyone recall the if there was any rationale for this from the library? It was, it was a market adjustment, but she got the she got a market adjustment last year as well. There were no increased hours for that.
to the operating budget of 3,214, given what you passed in the police department. So, still there are cuts. I think, you know, we're, we're going to have to look into what happens with that. the bottom line at the end of the day, that we're, we're only... Correct. Uh, we're cutting at the bottom line, so the right. select board will decide where that... We can make a recommendation, but the select board will decide, and that's, we don't really need to worry right now about that. All right. Um, anything in the other section? Debt service. Probably deserve it. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So, do we have a new bottom line? Let's see here. So we, we have to get the payroll tax adjustment for um, that as well. So. Um. Thing, then we can do the bottom line. Is it? 
Is that is it our place to, so, to, to be submitting the default budget? No. Yeah. So if there is an error in calculation or if there's a wrong number that you want to specifically point out, by all means that can be corrected. But the concept of the default budget is the select boards and can't be modified. It's a formulaic Yes. Thing, but, right? but, but the numbers have to add up on this budget. This yeah, so that's you have to tell us which ones don't know the total amount that fine. doesn't. But we're not proposing, we're not bringing that budget to the floor, to the, to the town. It is. It is. It will be part of the, um, what people understand, you know, it will be part of conversation and at the um, deliberative session people will um, be able to, they, it cannot be modified. It can't be changed. It can't be changed. And so it's kind of a, a contextual piece of information that should the proposed budget fail, that's the number that we're going with. So all, all I'm suggesting is that we take two minutes and just a couple of us get out our calculators and we read off the, the proposed default for each department. Before you do that, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. um, at the very bottom line under operating totals, 2008 appropriated is 2209. Why is not the revised budget still 2209? That's a really good question. And, and really, it's not as though more money appeared out of thin air. It's just that we moved money around where we knew we had money and reallocated it elsewhere. It's a worksheet. It's no, it should still have say 2209, just like last year's. You're right that the overall budget dollars did not increase, and yet that column shows that they increased. But we did not overexpend the budget. It was a worksheet for the board to help them see where there were deficiencies and reallocate money. And that process was never completed because we didn't have time to do it well. So it's offered for informational purposes so that you can see in specific lines where we had to reallocate money because it was clear that they were going to get overexpended. But it, for, you know, disregard the bottom line because we all know that the budget amount did not increase. It's just contextual information. Question. Did you get the 5000 for the fire department? Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, that was not what I... Um, no. So we need to... Okay, thank you, Charlie. Um, so hold on. That's... So we should track. So that's line 142. And so, thank you, Charlie. I didn't think it was to. That's why we go over it a bunch of times and make sure we're all on the same page. So we're just going to it up. <laughs> okay, so that brings us in reality um, down to a decrease in the operating budget of one thousand eight hundred and six dollars. One thousand eight hundred six dollars, and when you subtract that from the proposed operating budget. Um, two million is the is the new total. Two million four hundred two thousand eight forty one. Just the totals, when you totaled it up, it just came out different. So I totaled each of the department's bottom line default budget. Um, so maybe, Denise, you can just double check your spreadsheet. My you know. spreadsheet matches the, the, the one okay. I did today, okay. it matches the budget that I submitted to you. Okay. I'm comfortable with it. Okay. Um, so if, if somebody could just. Um, Nancy, could you okay. just go oh, through so. so. yeah. Okay, Emily's going to do it for us. Thank you. <laughs> 158, 
Me too, we missed something because when I did it, it's just five five eight. Five eight. Five five eight. But there's a forty forty dollar that he didn't get that he something. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a we might have that. There's a forty dollar difference? Yeah. yeah. So that's what the columns all add up to be. Want to do it again real quick? We should check since that one million one hundred and forty seven six oh three, we should just double check that. Okay. You know how we stopped at one one four oh, seven yeah. six oh three? Yeah, yeah. Let me read those numbers to you and you tell me if they're right. How's that? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. One one three seven four oh. Are you going backwards? No. We're gonna go from that number. Do you wanna go backwards? Um yeah. 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 Well, let me go there. So what uh, that was the seventy eight three ten? Wait one second, I gotta get to that page. It was okay. So what was the last okay? Seventy eight thousand three hundred and ten. Um, can you start with your first number? Where, where do you want me to start? At the bottom or no, the very top? The very first top. One. Okay, what we we had a bunch that added up to one million one hundred and forty seven six oh three. Mm -hmm. The next number is one one three seven forty. Okay, let me find that. Okay, I see one one three seven forty, okay. Two two three nine one. Yep. Five three nine three one seven. Yep. Thirty two thousand even. Well, we were wrong, but so we were off before that one. Right by thirty. Right. So I think we have to go backwards. Just oh. go, let's just confirm these. Okay. Uh, Thirty two thousand even. Yep. One oh five one one five. Yep. Two two one hundred. Yep. Thirty six oh oh one. Yep. Fifty eight thirty seven. Yep. 21500, yep. 67145, yep. 74998, yep. 1501, yep. 7831. Right. Okay, so now if we go back to that other one, mm -hmm. start from the very top. I have the numbers here too. Yep. One, so first number was 158856. It's supposed to be 896. There, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have to take. Have to add, add forty. Add forty, so it comes out with the number she had originally. Perfect. Kim, what number do you have? Two two seven four zero. Two two six seven five nine eight. I have that too, Denise. I think we're having an adding error because I just added it differently, and I think the formula is not working. Well, what I'm doing is I'm comparing what we did it on this budget compared to what I did today with not using any formulas. So I'm, I'm going to see if I, I found a $3 error on the uh, one uh, line 99. I found several $1 errors too. Yeah, well, that's, rounding. A, that's rounding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I found those too, but, but this, we know that that's rounding. This was the most significant Which one? issue. The, the, fault, the, the bottom line is the fault budget. I know, but i got to find out why. It's it's similar to our six hundred and seventy dollar problem. I think I think there's something wrong with the subtotal function in that. Right, but I didn't use the subtotal. She did based on this report. Right. I did it all manually. That's still a question. I, I yeah, I can't speak to that. But I, I didn't just, do it by subtotals. I did it by each and every line item. You won't be sending so those whatever items. I have, it should be right on this. Agree. I okay. just took the subtotal, so maybe there's something weird with the subtotal. I think that's what the problem is. Well, I totaled the line. Not the, not the, like, did you, did you go line by line or just subtotals? No, I totaled each department and made sure that the subtotal was So you agree with the subtotals and then you added the subtotals? Yes. Yeah. I can send you a spreadsheet for that. Uh, yeah. I'll finish this. Yeah, okay. So... Are we 
agree to get this. No, I wouldn't wait for me. Uh, no, this, I mean, this is, deep, like I just said, default is a... Yeah, I guess they're going to come up with the correct number for the default budget. Right. Which, so we have a motion to... Yeah, I, I guess I would move that we bring forward the budget as we discussed tonight with the, the, the bottom line amount at $2,402,841 for consideration at the... Um, SIP before the February meeting. You have the updated, you have what SIP is going forward for 219. Yes, I'm not on the 10 year projection. I, I'm not working on it. Another board member is. So I, I can't commit for him. But what is being voted on for this budget? No, I you no. have it. Yeah. Well, I don't no. understand. I was just asking if we could have one. When it's, I can't commit to it. I know that. I can't even ask you this. I will, but I'm not going to commit to it. So, okay. So, um, question of, of, so about that, and uh, we still need to resolve the proposed tax impact for the operating budget and for the CFP work items, approximately. So, did, did, did we, did you see my email about that? So, what am I not understanding about the calculation? It's appropriation divided by um, assessed value. Yes. And, and you're talking about revenue, is that your question, and how revenue plays in? So No, revenue shouldn't play. I mean, that calculation was appropriation divided into... Right, something. and part of the appropriation means how much money do you need to raise? And if you have offsetting revenue somewhere else, you don't have to raise all that money. That's how revenue plays in. Appropriation means how much money do we have to raise? And revenue is a factor in that because if you have a lot of motor vehicle registrations and building permits, that's less money you have to raise by taxation. So you're saying that we don't really have to raise um, $194,787? Correct. It's one sixty-four because of the projected increase in revenue of approximately $30,000. When we go to set the tax rate, we submit a bunch of reports to the state that does this with us and for us, and that includes valuation, revenue, 
yeah. and, and expenses and previous financial picture. So why is not, why is why aren't you deducting all of the revenue from the appro um, appro approved uh, your proposed appropriation? Why does all of the revenue not come? Why is it just thirty thousand dollars? Because that's the change. So, so the conversation really at hand is how much is this new budget going to affect the tax rate? Not what is the new tax rate going to be, but what is the net effect change? So the change is change in expenses, change in revenue, plus or minus change in revenue, divided by valuation. So when you can I just add, so when you're asked, when you're talking revenues, you're talking about the 2018 revenue difference that you made for the 29999 right. for the 2018, not your anticipated revenues for 2019, which are 8,000 less. I show a $30,000 difference between what we projected to have brought in in 18, 18 versus what we are projecting to bring in in 19. And that's how that's calculated. Oh, I thought that, I thought when I saw the paper, it was, that's the difference between what was the, the estimated and your September revised. Was so twenty nine 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 nine. No, it's the difference between the September revised and the nineteen projected. Okay. So further, because we're only really interested in whatever the net decrease or increase in tax rate is. Likewise, when you look at, for example, what you're going to put into the CIP, um, it's not that whole appropriation divided by the valuation, but it's really that difference between. 19 and 18 because we put a similar amount of money into CIP already. So you're not impacting the budget by this brand new expenditure of almost $180,000. It's really more of a net effect difference of, I don't know what, like $2,000, $1,800, something like that. So you're, so what you're telling me is, is the amount that we're putting into SIP this year is not coming out of taxation? No, it is coming out of taxation, but it came out of taxation last year too. So it's not really any different except for however much the amount itself is different divided by valuation. All right. I think this is, I think I'm thinking tax impact and tax rate. Right, exactly. And that's and, that, and the, the revenue is tax rate more than it is impact. Right, so if you take the whole what you're going to put into CIP and divide it by valuation, that is absolutely the cost of that Warren article. But it would be a little bit misleading to think that that would be an increase in the tax rate because you already spent that much money last year. So it's pretty level actually with a difference of maybe a penny or two. I think that's the misconception. We, we were asking what will it impact the taxes in 2019, not the tax rate. The impact on taxes is different than the tax rate. Yes, and so all of the CIP items, not what you're putting into the CIP, but the five items that would be on the warrant for purchase have a tax impact of 7, uh, 71,900. You would have to compare that number to what was the tax impact of what was approved last year. And that gives you the tax rate. And that means. gives you the difference. Like, so if you compare what we're buying, the tax impact of what we're buying in 19 versus what we're buying, what we purchased in 18, that difference is the difference in the tax rate. Potential. Tax rate, but not the impact on the tax for foregoing taxes on this budget. Well, so this budget is an impact of, I think, 56 cents or 58 cents, whatever that is. That's Correct. change. That's not the cost of that budget. That's the cost of the change of that budget over last year. That's the impact that on your taxes for next year, 58 cents a thousand. Co of the operating only, yes, Correct. given what we know, yes. And that would be the same thing for your SIPs, would be the impact on our taxes for 2019 because you're 
taking out of taxation the 178.4 or whatever. Well, 179.4, but yeah. how much is the 174 and the 179.4 different from what we put in there last year? That's what the difference in the tax rate would be for that article. That's rate versus impact. But. Well, you, so you're talking about 58 cents in the operating budget? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to correlate, that's difference. That's difference in the tax rate. So if you're going to correlate that, then you're talking about the difference in how much you're putting into CIP next year. So we're either talking about differences in how much we're spending and how, what, what's going to impact the, the tax rate, or else we're talking about the tax impact. The tax impact is what, what is this on the tax rate? So if you take $179,000 and divide it by the $280 million valuation, then that's almost a dollar, you know, sort of kind of impact, maybe like 70 or 80 cents. But mm -hmm. that's not on our whole existing almost $4 tax rate. But, it's, it's, but that $4 tax rate's been mostly in place for, you know, decades now. It's, it's what is the change? What is voting on this article do to increase or not increase my tax bill? That's the difference in what we're proposing to put in versus what we did put in the previous year. Well, let's take, for example, on the school. The school went down so that it was a dollar and thirty-five cent decrease, but that was three hundred thousand oh, dollar decrease on their on their yes. budget. Right. It was the appropriation So the assessment. appropriation is what was decreased by three hundred thousand. So they have a tax in so they have a tax impact decrease of a dollar thirty-five. I can't speak to whether or not that included revenue or how they calculated that. Yes, it did. And so yeah, a decrease, you know, a decrease of that magnitude. You're dividing by $280 million. So, you know, you, you, you move that over three decimal places to get 280000 to get even cents. So yes, if you're going to decrease it by that magnitude, it's going to decrease it. That, that makes sense. So I, I guess I'm confused about your question. We were just asking how much of the tax is going to go up next year on the town portion. 58 cents or 56 cents, whatever I reported. In on the, the operating. On the portion. operating, and then um, we'll work on Warren articles to see what the difference is. Which is the SIF and the 71 time. So I have a question about Denise. Didn't wasn't it mentioned at the select board meeting that the whole entire thing for the police had to be put on as a warrant for and then add the the eleven thousand was supposed to be added to the. I don't know what you're asking me. What police? The police warrant article for the space needs study for, for the no, building. For for the message, message board. Oh, 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 oh. So well, eleven was, seven was exactly taxation, and you were saying eleven yes, seven was being taken out of SIP. Yeah. But when you do the Warren article, I believe you have to do this total. It's so so. It's it's not. There is no money in the CIP right now for that. So it's have to come from taxation and have to come from a grant if it's received. But what he was saying is he wanted to have it all at, at the total, right? In Come case out of he didn't get the tax, right, the exactly. uh, grant. So right. the seventy-one nine needs to be increased by the what you said was yes. going to come out of SIP. Yes. Well, it's not coming out of SIP. It's taxation. Well, in our in our sheet that we were given, it was divided in half. Because it was, was money from other sources, and so it, it, yeah, right. the offsetting revenue there was a grant rather right. than CIP. But. He submitted his grant, he just hasn't gotten notification that he received the grant. So what he was saying the other night is, are we putting the whole amount? He wants to buy it either way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes, that will be adjusted for that more article. Okay, thank you. So um, Caroline, the way the school did it is they actually, they, they divided um, the operating budget by the assessment and then in a separate line, they had an increase in revenue line. Um, so see how they broke out here? Maybe that's what we should do. So, so then they added those. I yes. mean, you could do that. You could yeah. take the $30,000 as a loss mm -hmm. and divide it by valuation and add that to the 194 divided by $280 million as an increase and come up. You should, mm -hmm. That should be a different way to come to the same result. Yep. Okay. So... When we 
go to the public hearing on Saturday, the public's not going to know about the Warren articles and the impact? I would hope they would. Yes. But they it hasn't don't. been brought to us yet. Mm -hmm. So we can't recommend them. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, that's a really good point. We're, you know, SB2 has caught us by surprise as we knew it would, and it's moved up all of our timelines, and we are not ready, as you are noticing from, you know, the information that you continue to want that's not being fully presented. So, the warrant is not completely written, it's drafted. I can find, I can calculate tax impacts on it. Um, I can't say that they're going to be a final draft for Saturday, though. However, we the budget committee. On Saturday. Well, the budget committee at the meeting after the public hearing will have to recommend and not recommend the Warren article. So, and that happened last year too. That that was not part of the public hearing. So the Warren articles were recommended or not recommended, and just went to the deliberative session. They were not part of. They were discussed, you know, because conceptually we can talk about them. We yeah. just don't have right. like language finalized. Yeah, but we need to tell the public at the public hearing what our proposal for Warren article is. Absolutely. Are. Yes. yes. And but what the impact could possibly yes. be. Yes. Yes. But we can't vote on it because it hasn't voted at the select board meeting. Correct. Well, you can you can vote you can recommend or not recommend the concepts, understanding that the the board still has the power to not put something on the warrant altogether. But the board has acknowledged what we believe it. I mean, we only Correct. had one petition, but it wasn't financial. So if they change something, for example, the message board and how it's funded, and it's different from whatever you decide to recommend or not recommend, that would have to go back to the budget committee so that you can recommend or not recommend it again, because it would be different. Well, then I guess my question is, if we haven't been presented with the warrants, are we going to have to, as a budget committee, have another meeting to... Recommend, recommend or not recommend. But aren't we going to see them this Saturday? You're going to see them Saturday. You know, the language will get nitpicked further, but the concept of what we're buying for how much money with what kind of offsetting revenue but, and the tax impact will be there. But they haven't been voted on by the select board yet. They won't be voted on until the 21st. But they have as late until the 28th, though. So I would suggest that you vote on concept because they could be voting on it. It has to be posted by the 28th, and they're meeting the 28th, and you know, they may end up approving and posting. So I would say you go with the concepts, and then if they are revising the concepts, then it goes back to the budget committee. But as it stands now, they've approved in concept everything that they've brought forward. Okay, and I believe you sent us what the impact would be on those, correct? I sent you the basic formula of what the valuation is. So it's the, um, the taxable amount mm -hmm. divided by the valuation. So how do we have thirty thousand dollars more in revenue this year when if you deduct if you subtract what you're what we're estimating from what we estimated last year, it's minus eight thousand. And if you subtract it from the revised revenue, it's minus thirty thousand. So how is it where we have more revenue? Yeah, may I see yeah. Yeah. There's no way we have more revenue. No, no matter how you do the numbers, it's not thirty thousand dollars more revenue. My sheet has this scribbled on it, and it's not good. So. estimated adjusted yep. this. Yep. This subtract that, you get a thirty thousand dollar increase. Okay. So <coughs> you're okay, so you're you're not using the estimated. So the, the estimated is um, 
what the board proposes at the beginning of the year, right now during this process. Mm -hmm. And then DRA does whatever adjustments they do, but then the board files another report in September mm -hmm. with, you know, given where we are now in the year, what do we think about revenue? Okay. That's what that that's what we're comparing it to. That's okay. the more accurate number. Okay. So you're um, estimating it over the adjusted revenue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. More than the yes. Mm -hmm. okay. The call yeah. right before okay. it. Yes. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the revenue items. Are we keeping the resident tax? Petition warrant. Co petition warrant article has been submitted to not. We just received it. Okay. So. It will be going on as a petition warrant. And if it passes, the select board will have to come up with thirteen thousand dollars. Yep. Why are we doing that? I'm sorry. Why are we doing that? It's a petition. It's a petition. We don't have a choice. Oh, okay. It's not the board that's doing it. Mm -hmm. They just think it's not um, worth collecting. It's administratively a lot of yeah. work, and yeah. we definitely need to give it more revenue. Yeah. Are we? Water and sewer. Ready to move to water and sewer? So I'm trying to figure out the last 20 minutes of the conversation on what that had to do with the budget that we're passing. I'm just trying to impress. It's, just going, to, it's going public hearing. I know, but I mean, we're here to vote on the dilemmas that we brought forward. So I'm trying to figure out what you guys spent 20 minutes talking about because I was a little bit lost and mm -hmm. I don't think I really needed to know. You but, do need to know. <laughs> I don't know. I just you guys weren't sure what you were asking. Yeah, no, you didn't. Um, so, what's the question? Rephrase the question, Paul. I don't have a question. Oh, okay. I think the question, question was, and I, I, I tend to agree, is that what you talked about was interesting, but not for here. I mean, these are mathematical things you didn't Sorry. understand or there were questions about that I think could have been brought up outside this forum. Um, when we're here to vote on this, so, not the budget so. this is the budget committee. This is the form. Right, but you the have the budget committee. That's what you have to do with the town, not what to do with the town. Does that correct? Right? I mean, I'm trying to learn as I go. They stopped. I think so. I mean, I think. I think we got, we've been shut down on having this? offline discussions. Mm -hmm. um, before, so. what is, what Can everybody this? take one pass at that? Yep. Yeah. 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 Is is it one of each? Or? Yeah, one of each. Oh, okay. The, I, I think what was presented to me was, uh, well, we got with Moving on to yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the... We did go to the budget. Yeah, we did. Okay. But just the oh, okay. Correct. Oh, okay. So what was, what was sent in the brain mail was, you wanted us to, you wanted to know what's going to be presented Saturday at noon. Well, I think just like the operating budget, we need to bring something forward as the budget committee. We haven't really so, done that. So this is you guys can take this home and digest it. But this is what this this also is going to be presented with what we had at the last meeting. Uh, these are two engineering reports that were done um, earlier. Um, if you if you go to the one that's taped together with the yellows on it. Um, that's an engineering report that was done in 15, uh, and, and what they basically recommended was a 10% increase in 16, 17, 3% in 18, 3% in 19. So if you look at that, that's 26% through the new, well, we don't have more yet, so open up the folder one, everybody. As soon as I get to it. Well, I'm trying to, no, figure out, I've got one here. There's two pieces, right, Frank? There's yep, two pieces. You've got a folded one, and then you've got this open and folded one. Look at, look we have two folded ones. This one. Take together. Oh. One is stapled, one is folded. So the folded one. I need to stay right here. <laughs> this was presented, um, I found this at Water & Shore, and this was presented. This is the stapled one? in 2015 to water and sewer. Um, at the time we had, and, and this is just so you understand, this is just the sewer side of things, okay? One is sewer, one is water, so everybody's clear. So this is the sewer side of things, and they were looking for about a 26% increase through 2019. With, 
you realize if you if you do a 10% increase in 2016, that number becomes 10% more, and then you do 10% on that number. So we would be pretty close to where we needed to be had we done something in 2000. And Could you save this for Michelle? Had we done something in 2016. Right. Um, I know Michelle brought up, she said... You're doing hindsight. Well, I, I, I'm trying to... We're finding these reports, okay. and, and I'm just trying to explain that we're not... This isn't coming from you. The, All right. Um, these problems did exist. We, we, we've had these difficulties, but we've kind of not been responsible, and now we're trying to... So this report shows where we should be, and it shows some modest 3% increases going forward, basically, once they got caught up. Um, we are now, in 2019, looking at 26%, according to this report. And this report um, was done by an engineering firm that we let go because they, were, they didn't have their finger on the button, in our opinion. So take it however you want to take it, but this is just some supporting information. Um, you know, I've got the, if anybody wants to see the report, they can, they can, we'd love you to come in and read it and take a look at it. So that, that's what was looked at um, then on the sewer side. On the water side, that's the other report. Um, this was a report done by the same company before we went to the new company, and they thought that we needed a 20% increase in 2019 and nothing coming in in 2018. Um, that totally didn't play out um, because we ended up having all these lead and copper problems um, and we ended up, you know, I've already been through the whole story, you know, I'm going to go through that on Saturday if I have to. But, um, you know, we're not at 20% by 2019, we're closer to 40% by 2019. But the studies were done, the reports were done and we failed to do anything about it. So that's why we are where we are now. Um, all the other information is going to be exactly the way that it was presented. Um, I do, and I didn't pass this out, but this was the corrosion control study that we had done, and this is what led, this is what's leading us to say, no, you don't spend 20% more, you really need to spend about 20, 40% more because the recommendations were uh, you know, we have, we have a long-term recommendation list of what we have to do long-term to, to, to fix our problems. And right now, this little poly blend that we put into the water is nothing but a... It's kind of a band-aid. It's keeping the water in better shape. It's keeping it, you know, lead and copper from leaching out. But we have pipes that, you know, are six-inch diameter, but they're three-and-a-half now. And we can't, we can't fix that. We have to replace those pipes. So, Long term, that's in our plan. Do you have a rate for your water and sewer? It's about eighty dollars more. I don't have the exact amount. Seventy-five, eighty dollars more a quarter. Total the, on both or separate? Combined. 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 And there was a twelve. And there was a twelve percent increase um, that we did immediately to get to make sure that we would have enough people to get through the first quarter. So is it still thirty-five to forty percent? Thirty-five to forty percent. Thirty-five to forty percent. Um, I mean, we've been through this already. We can go through the spreadsheet again. You can ask any questions you want. Um, but, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I know that the question was brought up at the last meeting by Michelle. She said, you know, everybody says that, you know, it wasn't right the way that it was before, you know, but the reports were there. We just weren't responding to them. We weren't, we weren't seeing what was going to happen. Um, there's another report. Um, that shows what if you only did a 3% increase. And, it, and, and th these reports, by the way, are not staffing the way that we've staffed. We've staffed the way the state is requiring. These reports are just showing moving forward, um, but not keeping up with, you know. So, I don't, any questions? So is this the background? Uh, were, were we proposing a background of information to go forward for what the reasoning for the budget? I think we're, we're just proposing a budget, but but Frank is probably going to pre present it. And I think okay. I'm going to present it. I'm going to have the um, you know projector there, and I'm going to try not to kill a tree. But 
you know, that's the other problem. I don't know how many of these to print because I don't know how many people are going to be there. I don't know if only the people in the district are going to care. But they're the only ones you have to satisfy. So I'll probably bring 30 copies of each. And, and I'm going to ask you guys if you don't need the copies to give them back because they help. Yes. <laughs> Easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't have to ask me. So how does that work? I mean, I mean, how does the presentation you Still have the vote on the bottom line for you? Right. right. So we saying. so we have Saturday, the bottom line. We'll start off with the town. I thought that will must receive it for to Denise. She'll make a presentation of the operating budget. Um, just like the uh, superintendent did. And then we'll we'll yes, yeah, all one hearing, right? And so then we'll move it over to Frank and he'll make his presentation. So now we'll probably have questions on it. But there's nothing to vote on the agenda? Yeah. No, then afterwards After we have a meeting just like we did. Well, but we Saturday. have immediately following. Don't we have to don't we have to move his budget forward? Isn't that Tonight. 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 Yeah, yeah, correct. That's what he's doing. So we'll, we'll, we'll need a motion for you. Thank you. For a report. Right. Right. I move to bring the water and sewer budget forward to the public hearing mm -hmm. Saturday. Does any of this change? Second. Any of this change? Can we change? Does it change? I'm sorry, what did you no say? Okay. I move to bring the water and sewer budget forward to the meeting. Then yeah. um, do we have to vote on do we have to when do we vote on recommending or not recommending? That's after the meeting. That's after, after the meeting following. Yeah. Okay. After the hearing, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then our warrants are supposed to be um, will be done fifteen days prior to our meeting. Our warrant. I want it's in a projected, you know, in a budget route. Yeah, so I'm not sure how we deal with that. Um, we don't have it Saturday, so we're not. It's March 26th at the Legion. So we have to do that. Yeah, I think that we probably need another mm -hmm. meeting afterwards yeah. to do the warrants. Yeah. Um, all right, so Bill Seconds, is there any discussion? Mm-mm. That one will be. I think there's going to be a lot of people. Maybe a lot of people surprised, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we sent the letter. Yes. And the bill with the letter. Much. We huh? and a bill with the letter. And a bill with, with the, the letter. Yes. yes. It's going to be worse. <laughs> it's it's worse. just a bill. <laughs> we know this is well, bad. Uh, well, it's going to be worse. It's it's the total increase is going to be between seven five and eight five. So we hope you have a full Open on the point when you're going to keep it. Let's start, let's start doing this by voice and see how it goes. This yeah. goes wonderful. Uh, yes. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstain? All abstain. Um, so it passes. Okay. Emily, you have a question? On no, I just want to let you know that the petition warrant articles for the school are all settled and in, and there are none that are financial in nature, so we can adjourn last oh. week's meeting. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, we can do that today. So, so we have, need a motion to adjourn? I move, I move to adjourn the school board hearing. Public hearing. Public hearing. I'll for second the school that. Board budget. So any seconds? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, to adjourn. That was, that was that meeting. That's the longest meeting ever. So we need to schedule one more meeting for the war articles, is that correct? Well, I guess maybe. If we hear them on Saturday and... Yeah, let's make that decision on Saturday. Yeah, because we might be able to hear them on Saturday, and if they don't change, then we wouldn't need to meet again. If they then do change... Would, then then it would be Saturday is when we would... Recommend, recommend or, not. or not recommend on Saturday. That, that would be my understanding. Or we or we push off to have another meeting. And we can make a decision on Saturday. Yes. How far out would the next meeting be if that happens? It can't be any later than what, the 28th? Is that the cutoff? 28th of January. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm leaving on the 12th and I'm going Correct. for two weeks. Two to two and a half weeks. So, so yeah. we could, if we could approve water and sewer, that Afternoon, that would be one. Right. Uh, that's, we're talking about the wardens. Oh, the wardens. Yes. 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 The warden oh, I thought you were talking about yeah. well, we after the after the public hearing. Yeah. Yeah. So water and sewer. No, water. Well, right? Sorry, we're yeah. we're beyond that. We'll, we'll probably 
hear, hear anything on water and sewer and vote on water and sewer. And then, if, um, and then we will also, in that meeting, talk about the warrants. And if we hear from the town, from the town on the warrants and feel comfortable at that time, voting to approve uh, or, or right, sorry, yeah. voting to recommend, then we will do it then. If we don't feel ready to do that, then we will schedule another meeting. So the warrant doesn't have to be written up on the warrant document, it just has to be listed, the verbiage, so that we're aware of, you're aware of exactly what it is. These are only financial ones though, right? Mm -hmm. These are only financial ones, right? No, yes. Not warrants for other purposes. Right. Correct. What okay. other purposes would you... Well, you, you can have many warrants that won't have a financial impact. We don't have a vote on those. Right. The school actually had one at their public hearing. One of, we didn't one of ours to. doesn't have financial impact. We don't need to see that you one. You've got a warrant on it. It's only financial four. impact. You move the six graders. So you'll have those. On the yeah. Schedule. The only thing that I the only thing I won't have though is it um there is usual oh, won't have financial impact. A couple of thousand dollars that will be left over on the sewer side. Um, that will be. We have the option to we have the possibility to send it to our fund or to our mm -hmm. operating budget for next year. So we're going to want to move that to operating operating budget next year. A couple thousand dollars that won't have an effect though, that would be over the budget. No, it's a financial impact. Yes, no, that's no financial impact. But it's in the budget. But it, it, if you've got numbers, if yeah. it involves numbers, Any you've numbers. got to bring it forward. Yeah, yeah. You've got to bring it. But it's not on the bottom line of the budget. Any dollar amount. Any dollar, any dollar amount. amount. If it doesn't have a dollar at all amount, you don't have to bring it to us. But if it has any dollar amounts at all, you have to bring it to us. Even one dollar. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll talk about it Thursday. Yeah, we're going to have to try to get that done. <laughs> so Friday, uh, Saturday, Monday. Nine RGS, right? Yes. Yeah. To like four. <laughs> to like four? Well, that's we'll a lunch. Well, the question, the other question I have is, John, you remember you were at the meeting and there was the, the discussion, Caroline had the discussion also about the budgeting process if it was to go forward for the um, police and office, they had to hold two meetings. And I thought one of the meetings was going to be a public hearing what is Saturday. Saturday. Well, it's not, it is the public hearing, it is your public hearing. Correct, so but it wasn't posted in the paper as having it on Saturday. That doesn't matter because okay. it's having its bond thing on, on Monday night, so that's okay. You all are posted to have your meeting and it's part of that, so that's okay. And that will be presented? Like any other of the dollar warrant. It, it will be a dollar warrant article like any other. Um, we can, we can there. But that's another one that won't be brought forward until after Saturday. Right, so we'll probably have to have another meeting. Well, perhaps not. But, you know, what do you mean not brought forward? You know, right now it's a proposal. It's posted. The dollar amount shouldn't change. It's just about whether or not the board decides to put it on the warrant. If they don't put it on the warrant, then your recommendation is moot. Right, but if, if they do decide to put it on the warrant, then... You've already recommended or not recommended when you've done all the other warrants, in theory. Then we're doing that as well on Saturday? It's a without... warrant like any okay. other, yeah, an article rather, yes. Okay, any other business questions? Point towards Bill, Bill likes to... So we, when will we get a corrected copy with all the changes, Caroline? As soon as I can. Before Saturday, though? Yes. Okay. He usually likes and I'll to be adjourn. Learning that. So we have a motion to adjourn? No <laughs> move. What did you say? <laughs> and motion to adjourn, a second. I'll say. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. We don't actually vote. You're walking home, Ed? <laughs> no, no, wait for that one. No, that was quick. <laughs> He's ready for that one. Oh. Yeah. So maybe you get public comment. Carolyn. Yes, sir. That's right. That's what's going on. We just did last night. After the hearing was done, I got you. We had a recess again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Love them. I love them again. It's just something, it's, it's not talking about, it doesn't go on any papers. Unless the commissioners decide to... Take care, we'll see you tomorrow night. Oh yeah, look forward to it. Bye, Emily. Emily, you need to get a lot.